It's not your imagination No, you're not black American You wonder why they call you Jamaican We do above all the other nations It's not your imagination No, you're not a Haitian You wonder why they call you Puerto Rican When you were above all the other nations It's not your imagination They just wanna keep us down About to turn the world upside down. We about to turn the world upside down. We about to turn the world. Welcome to a Four Corners News. That's right. Turn my mic up. This is where the Check truth out. speaks. Oh, that's right. I'm Captain Zakar. And to my left, Captain Severus. To his left. Officer Azaniah. And to my right. Officer Daniel. And to his right. Officer Lyle. And we make up for Corners Hey, I just want to let y'all know. Uh, can you put the uh, the camera on him, man? Yeah. He got his microphone. Move yeah, the uh, the we thing. We got his mic all the way over here. Damn. Yeah, move the, yeah. Show yeah. him who's here with us in spirit. Damn. There he go. Oh. Officer, Officer Judah. Judah. Right next to me. Right there. 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 Right he 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 can't be here physically, but he's here with us in spirit. Can we can we go back to it? So we want we want to introduce Officer Judah. 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 I thank you for welcoming me to Four Corners News. All praises, man. Welcome to Four Corners News, where the truth speaks. Hey, uh, let's get into it. Been a lot going on here in the uh, what you call that social media world, and uh, we here to. Present the facts to you. Uh, start now. This is um, I don't know what you call them. I think they call them like influencers. Yeah, um, that's influencers. Yeah, they be on social media making videos and things and tying it together. This dude right here, his name is Ryan. I don't know if you ever heard him. He's yeah. a short dude. Always does it in front of a like a white door. Right. Um, his name's Ryan, and um, he 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 dropped cold hard facts on uh, people that say uh, slavery was a long time ago. Right. Get over it. Pull yourself up by your bootstraps. Right. Uh, Cause a lot of our people agree with that stuff. A lot of people, our, our people agree with that. You know, they don't want to hear about the past. They want to live in the present and yeah. look towards the future. You heard Snoop Dogg said the same thing. Oh yeah. Yeah, he said he was tired of the slave movies. Stop. Oh uh, yeah. Said, yeah. Stop making them. He want to yeah. forget. Yeah, yeah. yeah he want to forget. Yeah. What, uh, what was that dude in the Matrix? Uh. Cipher. Oh, there we go. I want to go to sleep. put me back to sleep, and I don't want to remember no. anything. Mm. Nothing. Make me important. Make, Make me important. Right. Yep, that's what our people do. Uh, pull up the video of that, that brother named Ryan. Let's see what he's talking about. No living white person has owned a slave. Black Drop people the bars gotta for stop us. blaming people for their issues and clean up their own communities. Let's pause slavery it real quick. Slavery was a long time ago. Black. All right, so it says no. Lord. Okay. No white person alive today ever owned a slave. No black person alive today was ever a slave. We can't move forward if people want to keep living in the past. That's, that's wow. day one. Come on now, help us out. But that's day one. That's the one that they love to use. Uh, no living what? No living white person has ever owned slaves. Uh, right. And, and um, they want you to forget that for a reason. Mm -hmm. Give me that. Go to uh, Deuteronomy 32. Uh, is that what I want? 32 and 8. Esau, white man, Bring always want you to forget they passed. They don't tell the damn Chinese to forget they passed. Right, right, right. Damn, uh, I can't tell you how many movies I done seen Jet Li and Fu Wong Kong mm. in some old ass 1300 yeah. AD Ming Dynasty right. Just movies. Right. Just like, just like Cap when uh, that, uh, that uh, the event with the uh, World Trades, they put, oh, we will never forget. Yeah, never forget. Yeah, Holocaust, we will never forget. Never forget. But when Every it comes year. to slavery, forget, forget, it. forget. It. Uh, um, read that. What I just called Deuteronomy thirty-two. I think it's eight. 
Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 8. Bring it out. When the Most High divided. Verse, verse 7. Verse 7. Remember yeah. the days of old. There we go. That's a commandment from God. That ain't a All suggestion. Right. You know, that ain't no movement. That ain't no grassroots black movement mm -hmm. <laughs> where uh, uh, let's, let's, we woke. You know the woke movement? This right. ain't the woke movement like, oh, we're going to remember the things that happened to us. No, nah, this ain't right. no woke movement. That's a commandment from God. Right. Bring it out. Read that again. Remember the days of old. Read. Consider the years of many generations. That's the past. Mm, there you go. Many generations is the past. God commands us to remember the past so we know what our future looks like. That's right. You can't right. know what your future is going to look like or plan for it if you don't know what your past was and that's why um Esau is big on on Roman history and all they there trying to go. prevent the inevitable of, of them falling as a country. Right. 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 They looked at all the uh, uh major uh um ancient civilizations right. that fell and what they did wrong and they are trying to avoid it but you know they can't they can't move the hand of God. It's gonna happen. Check right. it out Cap even the yeah. uh holidays uh, Saturnalia. There you and go. We forgot that. There you go. They celebrated it tomorrow. Uh, I'm glad you brought that. It was it a uh, Satan Day. Satan Day. Yep. Satan That's right. Day. They remembered that. That is old that. as hell. You hear some? No, no. All right. Hey, uh, go back to that. Go back to that and let it play. Black people need to get over it. That's what continuously is told to me. Now, uh, before I respond, <laughs> I'm going to need you guys to share this video. I'm not going to curse. I'm not going to spread false information. Everything that I'm about to say is 100% true. You can look it up to see. Facts. And I'm not going to say anything right. that right. makes people uh, cringe, at least language-wise. Right. All right. Let's not dwell on the past. Let's go to modern history. Modern history. Let's go 1964. Oh, here we go. 1964, we go. right? That's 56 years ago. We all know somebody 56 years old, whether yeah, it's yeah. us, our parents, grandparents. So you would call that modern history, Cap right? Cap is 56. That was when <laughs> <laughs> the Civil Rights Act was passed, which made it illegal to discriminate against black people. Hey, let's pause it. Let's so pause it. understand that. Pause it and let's read it. Read that for us, uh, soldier. What is the Civil Rights Act? Under the Civil Rights hey, Act. Hey, and the reason why I stopped it and we got to read this because we got a lot of uh, millennials, the Generation Z zombies <laughs> out hey. there that have no idea, like the damn world did not exist before they popped out right. in right. 19, <laughs> in 2000. Hell, 2001, the world wasn't here before I right. got here. Right. They know nothing of the past yeah. at all and they have no interest in looking into it. So we got to stop, take a moment mm. of silence. <laughs> for all the z generation zombies out there to right. bring y'all up to speed with some of us old heads. I ain't even an old I head. Like that. Generation Z. Yeah, they zombies. That's what they do. They call it Generation Z. I call it Generation Zombies out here. Hey, go back to it. If Read you that. know anybody over no, no, the age no. of 56. Pause it. There's, that's a Generation Z in the back right there. I'm going to tell you right now. Come on, Generation Z. <laughs> <laughs> Read Dang. that for us. Under the Civil Rights Act of Said they can't hear. Make sure they can hear us, man. Go Under ahead. the Civil Rights Act of 1964, segregation on the grounds of race, religion, or national origin was banned at all places of public accommodation, including courthouses, parks, restaurants, theaters, sports arenas, and hotels. No longer could blacks and other minorities be denied service simply based on the color of their skin. That was 1964. It says, what, 56 years ago, yeah. they said? Yeah. So that ain't that long ago. We all got uncles. We all know someone over that age, or yeah, 56 I, years old. Right. right. So before that, what was it? It was Jim Crow was in place. Right. right. You had slave codes, and then you had Jim Crow. Yep. Right Right behind it. They yep. went couldn't ride the side by side. Hand to hand. Yep. Yeah. Convict uh, leasing program. Yep. All of that was led up to the 1964 Civil Rights Act. And I, he might even touch some of that. All right. Uh, let's play the video. They lived in a time where legally you could discriminate against black people. Okay. But now that the Civil Rights Act was passed, we all know that once the government... <laughs> 
<laughs> signs a bill or a law, everybody abides by it. Listen correct? To that. Right. Right. So right. that would explain why Martin Bring Luther it King Jr., who you, you love to bring up so much. Here we go. Martin Luther King Jr. kept protesting and kept marching, and he himself ended up being killed yep. in 1968. Pause. That's 52 years ago. Mm. Now check that out. Uh, uh, so things, see, this is the thing about how um, we bring it out in Jeremiah 23. Read that in Jeremiah mm -hmm. 23 uh, about um, where it's prophesied that not specifically MLK, but that spirit that he rolled in would be on the earth to give us a sign that it was not of God. Right. And, and MLK realized that after he got that yep. thing passed and didn't nothing change. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Four years after it was passed, he was uh, Bishop played the video. I think a Sabbath. Uh, last Sabbath or the Sabbath before, where he said, "I feel like I integrated my people into right. a burning house." Right, right. So nothing changed after that Voting Rights Act. Um, you know what I want in there, Jeremiah twenty-three. Yep. Yes, sir. Read 25. that. Jeremiah chapter twenty-three and verse twenty-five. I have heard what the prophet said. Yep. That prophesy lies in my name. And what is the lie? Read on. Saying. I have dreamed. I have dreamed. Now, this is how you know that that was divine, that he would say Ooh, those words out of his mouth. Because you, you think about it, MLK was a, a, a pastor. Mm -hmm. Right. The Lord blinded his eyes to that particular scripture right there so he could say that out of his mouth so it can be used 52 years mm. later to wake up his people in the last days. God, God we're playing... We playing checkers. We play, we playing checkers and chess. God in a whole nother universe on Bring that. Bring it out. <laughs> right. <laughs> we try to catch a God on a whole nother universe. He done called the end from, from the, the beginning. beginning. Right. He already knew Malcolm uh, Martin would say something like that. Put that in the, in the scripts, and that's going to be a lie for the prophets to identify in the Man. last days. Dang. Man, that's exactly. That was my reaction when I first uh, heard this scripture come out. And when that, and when Bishop brought it out, man, that blew me away. Mm -hmm. It's like a, a a biblical historical marker. Yeah, that the Lord yeah, planted. yeah, yeah. Like, you gonna you gonna wake up. You gonna see that my word is true. Yep. Right. Cause, Damn. Cause Cap, what they was trying to do was she like like brothers like MLK when they was trying to go against those injustices and try to you know actually give our people a way to fix those problems. The 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 slave owner, all he did was switch it up on them. Yeah. Instead of now it's against the law to racially racially profile you for your race. They say, you know what? Let's just do it in converted. Um, what is it? Incognito. Uh, incognito. incognito right. Yeah. Let's do it that way now. Yeah. See. Hey, uh, uh, go back to the video. Let it play. Do y'all know somebody fifty-two years old? Probably. So, a lot of people bring up Martin Luther King. Y'all should be more like Martin Luther King. He would be ashamed. He would not like the things that y'all are doing. Um, <clears throat> when Martin Luther King died, he had a negative approval rating. Wow. As a matter of fact, polls taken at the time said that more than one third of people polled said that he brought his death upon himself. Wow. Pause that, man. <laughs> Damn. 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 According to an early 1968 Harris poll, the man whose half century of martyrdom we celebrate this week died with a public disapproval rating of nearly 75 percent i didn't know that Dang. i thought everybody loved uh right. mlk Dang. back right. in the day they right. was all holding hands in washington dc yeah. hey, marching with them and all so the only reason why they only uh doing this they showing that fake love of mlk yeah, yeah. is because they know how much negroes love it and they saw how much power that he had behind him and even all the different movements they, they they are being more crafty towards us. So they, they will put out a whole different holiday about him, but behind closed doors, never respect him. Nah, not at all. No, not at all. Go yeah, back to it. Switching it up. The proof is in the bullet. <laughs> Ooh, damn. That was damn. Damn. Say that again, man. The, listen, the proof is in the bullet. Wow. The damn. same bullet they gun us down every, every other day. That's a T-shirt. Right. Yeah. Damn. Pagel, you sad, watch that? Yeah, t shirt right there, man. <laughs> hey, hey, the proof is in the go. bullet. Yeah. The Lord descends on you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, play the video. All this stuff you can look up. Moving forward, 1971, 49 years ago. You know, you guys in your 40s. This is you guys. Um, Richard Nixon, the president, declared a war on drugs. 
which you can look up and research that his war on drugs basically just targeted Damn. hippies and black people. Majority right? black people. You know, Majority you know yeah. black people for like heroin, opioids, you know, like the opioid crisis that we're currently in, that they're sending everybody to rehab and not putting hey, anybody pause in it, prison. Pause it real quick, man. We got to read that, man. He's yeah. dropping facts yeah. right here. Yeah. Right. Read right. that, soldier. You understand what I'm saying. We knew we couldn't make it illegal to be either against the war or black. But by getting the public to associate the hippies with marijuana and blacks with heroin, mm. and then criminalizing both heavily, we could disrupt those communities. Ehrlichman said we could arrest their leaders, raid their homes, break up their meetings, and vilify them Damn. night after night on the evening news. Wow. wow. That's probable cause. Wow. Damn. Damn. Woo, it says vilify them night after night on the evening Damn. news. Wow, that's heavy right there. And that's wow. from one of they uh, that's from their mouth. And Read finish it out and see uh, finish it out what it says. Did we know we were lying about the drugs? Of course we did. Wow. 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 Drop a bomb on that. So that's how that's how much fear that the other nations have towards us when they see any gathering or any uprising come. What we're gonna have to do? We're gonna have to take out their leaders, like the Black Panther movement. Aim. Um, the list goes on. The Black Panther movement. Aim, and the list goes on. That they gotta take out all of our leaders. That's how much fear that they got towards us. Yeah. Put that. Put that back up real quick. Put that back up. Re read that again. You understand what I'm saying. We knew we couldn't make it illegal to be either against the war or black. Damn. But Reed. by getting the public to associate the hippies with marijuana. That's because, remember, that part, associate the hippies with a lesser crime. Oh, there you right? go. Right? Lesser crime and right. the blacks right. with a, a harsher crime. Heroin. Harsher heroin. crime. Yeah. Damn. And that's, that, that, that's the part where it says vilify them. Yeah. Turning right. them into villains. And that's the point, that our people... Cause you know we just we just got over we just got over here we still trying to make it in this country we still trying to make it in this world but my question is where do we go get the opioids from or the marijuana yeah. or the cocaine or yeah, all yeah, these yeah, different yeah, drugs yeah, yeah. they had to take the boat Bring it which out? they own which mm -hmm. we we was not doing at that time or like majority of us was not doing at that time and smuggle it in just like how they do in Chicago now they smuggling guns yeah, in smuggling they smuggling guns. all these yeah. different things right. creating stangs right. where they have open um crates of clothes whatever they got Shoes. and they know that the people uh, are poor and they're going to make them commit that uh uh that that uh, crime. crime yep Exactly and when they right. commit that crime, they put us on seven news. It's the same thing being repeated Vilified. That's over why, uh, and over today. Vilifying that's, us. That's why Jim Crow Joe called us predators, predators. and lied yeah. about it mm, and got black people to vote for him. Right. Mm. They right. vilified us, and he was right there uh, 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 agreeing with everybody. And don't think he changed. No. Right. The white man will not change his colors at all. Bring only, it out. You, you have only thing can change his spirit is is God to make him lift up uh to lift up the uh, oppression off of us a little bit. If it wasn't for that, he'd have been killed us all. Oh yeah, been killed us all, man. Go back to the video. Play that. Yeah, you know, empathy and things of that nature. Yeah, wasn't the case for black people in the seventies threw all of them in jail, and even if they weren't really doing it, throw them in jail too. Um, then hippies, you know, people who are about peace, love, understanding, you know, all lives matter. Um, they were unfairly treated and arrested. If he was a marijuana, you know marijuana. Marijuana is the drug that while we're in a pandemic and 40 million Americans have lost their job, marijuana <laughs> dispensaries are considered... <laughs> Essential. That's right. Been open the whole time. The people who were smoking that and saying all right. lives matter, yeah, they were targeted. They were targeted too. Mm. Mm. And Richard Nixon's run ran until 1974. That doesn't mean these practices ended. That means that he officially left office in 1974. Not only that, that they was are 46 getting a cut years off ago. the drug money. We all know someone who's 46. But that's the 70s. Let's not dwell on the 70s. Let's move to the 80s. Let's say something like 1987. Know anybody born in 1987? If you don't, you're looking at one. Mm. 33 years old. Officer Lyle was born in 87. 
the CIA <laughs> flooded Dang. black communities with crack cocaine. Yep. To hey, pause for it. War mm. and Nick if you if you don't know, um, y y he's what he's talking about is the truth. They even made a um, a show on FX about it. It's called Snow. Yeah, right. that's what I was yeah. thinking about. If Snow. you've never seen it, go and watch the series. It's about one or two seasons long or something like that. I think it's four now. But it's uh, it, yeah, it might be four. Um, but it 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 showed how the CIA wanted to fund that war over there in South America, Contra. And they pumped the black community with poison, and they got one or two people. That's how you've got people like um, Freeway Ricky Ross, right, yes, sir. Right. Right, right. real right. drug dealers in L.A. Yeah. That that was him. Yeah. That that was doing that, and he he brings it out in stuff. He got out of jail twenty years, thirty years yeah. later. They make it make it seem like it, it was a conspiracy theory. Yeah, but he said, yeah. "No, nah, I met with the CIA mm. agents. They gave me the yeah. drugs to flood the community with." They know y'all. Esau mm. was the plug. Yep. Still is the plug. Right. Still <laughs> is. <laughs> get a scripture. Go ahead. Um, get, get Psalms 50 and verse 19 real quick. Psalms 50 verse 19. The book of Psalms chapter 50 and verse 19. Uh, Bring it out. Thou givest thy mouth to evil. To what? To evil. Read. And thy tongue frameth deceit. Right. And that, that's talking about the so-called white man. He, yeah. His mouth, his communication, he he framed it or designed it to spew evil. Yeah. Earlier in that article, it said uh, he uh, he villainized the blacks, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. He he made sure that the hippies was given a lesser uh, 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 charge uh, penalty, right? penalty. Because yeah. later on, he would use it. You see how deep his mind was? Yeah, he was he thinking was ahead, ahead, S what decades ahead. Yeah. Wait and said, no, we're going to need marijuana to be legalized because it's going to cause more damage against the blacks later on. Wow. So read, read on. Read what it say. Verse 20. Uh-huh. Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother. Thou speakest against thy brother, Jacob, the 12 tribes of Israel. Read. Thou slanderest thine own mother's son. Read there you go. Woo. Slanderest. Thou slanderest thine own mother's mm. son. That's heavy. That's it right there. That's what he's talking That's about. Vilify the news. Ain't no drugs. Yeah. Right. The, the drug problem ain't as bad as it seemed, but we're going to make it seem oh, like man. that. That's right. that uh, predator calling us predators. Yeah, yeah. Calling yep. us thieves, calling yeah. us niggas, robbers. Only only acting job you can get is being a uh, drug dealer or a right. stick-up guy or something like right. that. Right, yeah, and they pass that down to our kids. So when you ask them, like, what do you want to do with your life? Yep. Those are the only options they always Those are the give only you. options. I want to be a rapper. A rapper, right. Basketball player. <sighs> That's the majority crazy. of the rappers, the rap game actually is the mo majority of them are drug dealers. Right? Yeah, <laughs> majority they come of them talk in, about come in, they come in, being already drug rich. That's what they say. I'm rich before I was in, in the game because right. you were selling dope. Yeah. Right, you were selling like drugs. Young Jeezy, like Young Jeezy, he had a he. I think I believe he already had a million before he even jumped in the game. A lot of these. Right. Now they, they create ra record labels now to go wash their drug money. money. Right. Yeah. Hey, hey, go back to the video. Caragua. You can look this up. You, they've made documentaries about it. There's even a movie called Kill the Messenger that was made about it starring Hawkeye. That's how that's how soon it is. One of the Avengers <laughs> played in the movie. All you have to do is look up the CIA and Contra. You'll you'll find everything you need to know. You'll know that Hawkeye played a guy named Webb. What happened to Webb? Why can't you just look him up? Because he's dead. You know, unfortunately, he committed suicide by yeah, shooting right. himself in the back of the head two times. <laughs> oh, in the back All of the right. head. So, hey, that's Freeway so Ricky Ross right there. Crack yep. flooded through the black communities all through the late 80s into the 90s. And black people are like, please help us. This is tearing apart our community. So then comes the crime bill. Did this crime bill stop bringing drugs into Jim the community? Crow Joe no, back it did there. not stop the flood of illegal weapons or guns into the community. It just put everybody oh, in the community in Look at that. prison. Wow. Offer drug so it's rehabilitation it's for the whole community. No, it did not. Hey, Cap. It hey. left the crackheads to raise the children. This is 1994. This is the 90s. Y'all remember the 90s? Sure. Because I'm pretty sure by now, if you're watching this video, you were probably alive in the 90s. Yeah, right. 
And after this bill and car, all you more 90 black babies ever that think it got the better of the U.S. Businesses decided to get in business with prisons. That's that's because you that's can crazy. get free labor. And I know some of y'all might go, you can't get free labor. That's slavery. Well, according to the 13th Amendment, you here we know, go. That abolished slavery. Slavery became illegal except, except guess what? prisons. Wow. Which are hey. disproportionately <laughs> filled with what? Black, Black people. And Hispanics. Now prisons right. are big business. Look making at this. over $100 million a year. Wow. So in order to keep this business up. And hey, Michael Jordan got quota. stock in the yep. prison yeah. too. How many right. people sure must be in it sure every year? All y'all brothers. Yes, like you heard James. me right. There is a quota. Pause it. Let's read that. Pause it and read that, man. Read that real quick. Mm. Prison occupancy quotas require the government to spend public dollars on housing and supervision of a certain number of inmates. Wow, wow, wow. Read on. Whether a prison is empty or full, with governmental priorities pulling public funds in so many different directions, it makes no financial sense for taxpayers to fund empty prison beds. So they, it's, that's a trap, man. Yeah. It is. That's literally a trap that you that, that if that if the powers that be put out the word to those that are below them, prison getting kind of empty over here. Yeah, right. Woo woo! Red lights going everywhere, and guess where they going? Straight to the hood. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Right, right. And they and they manufactured the crime. Wow. Let's stir something up. Of course, let's pull them over. Let's get a reaction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard police yeah, officers yeah. say that they they they. They'll do something to a person to get a reaction. Next thing you know, that brother's off to prison. Damn, that's, that's crazy, it. man. Crazy. And, and not only that, prisons are privately owned. And when the prisons are privately owned, what they tend to do is more so like you was like you were saying, that they would create different crimes or they uh they would create the crime so that way we could go ahead and we could get committed. And yeah. therefore, now Prisons are still being funded by us. Slavery is still around. It's just right. a different form. It just transitioned yeah, to that. It. We're still, we're still, we're still um, supporting this country no they, matter now, what. Now, now, the, the this is the Jedi mind trick that Esau has done with the form of slavery. He made us think that we are the problem and the reason why we got put back right. into slavery. Right. 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 At first we used to like, y'all y'all the damn devil. Y'all came and got us from the west coast of Africa and snatched us up. Right. Now they turn the, the media and all of that stuff against. Look at them. They're criminals. Right. They're, right. Fa they're fatherless homes. Uh, they're predators. Right. Uh, they're violent. They're aggressive. Uh, they don't respect authority. They deserve to be back in slavery. slavery. Right. Right. Make, Damn. make America great again. There you right, go. Right. And one thing that scared Man. me when you when we was looking at that graph earlier on, when we was looking at that graph, remember back then slavery, they could put you in jail for any little thing. Yeah. And the graph was so low. But now it spiked up uh, all it skyrocketed in, and it's at its all time high. Letting you know something that whether you wh whether it's physical slavery or it's overt, like you could see it, or covert they still going to execute their plan no matter what. That was going into uh, what we were speaking on. We spoke about this a while ago, how they was changing the law for uh, stand your ground. Right. Yeah, yeah. Well, now you can actually defend your property. Yeah. yeah. That's what it's going into. They're changing the laws that's going to benefit their race, their people, and then it's going to counteract us. Yep. Right. Either lock us up or gun us down. Yep, exactly right. Go back to the video. People they have to have in the beds in prisons. How do you do that? by putting more people in prisons, maybe for crimes they didn't commit, maybe giving them longer sentences to keep people in beds <laughs> so you can meet this quota, which black people have been complaining about. And you can do the research on to find that this is true. Mass incarceration is modern day slavery. Also, when you get out and you wanna change your life, you can't because people don't treat felons the same way, no matter what your felony is, and you're not allowed to vote. And since pretty much one in every three black men have been or will go to prison, we lose 33% of our voting power. Pause that, man. Damn. You know how high that stake is at one in three? One out of three of us is going to prison. Right, right. Damn. 
Woo! Hey, hey, let's let's read the script real quick before we take a call. Give me that Psalm 140 and verse 1. This is the thought we got to have dealing with that because all of that comes about from what? Our sins as a people. Yeah. Right. That's the hand of God against us because we are rebellious to him first. Right. In the midst of sin. Read that Psalm 140 and verse 1. Psalm chapter 140 and verse 1. Bring it out. Deliver me, O Lord, from the evil man. That's who we are amongst. We live amongst the evil man. He's called Esau in the Bible. That's right. Known as Caucasian today. Right. American, Caucasian American, Caucasian French, whatever the hell you want to call him. The white man is the evil man on the earth. That's right. Read on. Preserve me from the violent man. He's the violent man also. Right. He's evil and violent. Right. Read on. This is how he's evil and violent. Read verse 2. Which imagine mischiefs in their heart. That's mm. what we just read right there. Damn. That brother did a his a modern history, uh, uh, um, from modern history all the way up to present day of all the mischief that has been created to enslave and oppress the children of Israel. Bring it out. Right, and this right, ain't old right. time. It ain't old time. 1916, right, uh, right. 1619 to the 1800s where you could be like, I don't identify with slavery. I wasn't a slave and nobody right, in my right. family was. Well... Your family has been affected by that daggone exactly. crime bill. Right. They're right. affected by the war on drugs. Right. They was affected right. by the redlining. They're affected by the Civil Rights Act. Mm. They're affected by all of that stuff that he just went over. These are the mischief that they have created to in, uh, oppress the children of Israel. Mm. Nobody else, just us. Read right. on, finish it out. Continually are they gathered together for war. They what? Damn. For war. Whoa! Yeah. Negroes out here playing Woo. play. P Negroes is lining up Damn. to play PlayStation Five, <laughs> and the white man out here at war against Negroes. Right. Sold Damn. out. Right. Listen, the whole system is sold out. Damn. The, what was it? PS <laughs> PS Five. PS Five. PS Five yeah. sold out, and they just played the commercial of uh, what's that basketball game? Two K Twenty One. Twenty One. Two K Twenty One. They gonna line up for that. It's sold they out. Jordans. They gonna line up they for that. Cap. They camp mm -hmm. out. They camp out. Yeah, they camp, camp out for camp days. Out. Right. That's they a camp in front of the White yeah. man at war and Negroes playing video games. Right. There go, there go another one. Listen, not only not only they physically imprison their bodies, they got their mind trapped <laughs> up. Wow. Damn. But you they in they PlayStation. They got what the the one that you put on your eyes. What's that called? Uh, VR. VR. They VR. got Negroes oh, going to war uh, with each other. Stuff. Yeah. They yeah. got caught in the matrix. Right. They stuck That's in the exactly matrix. what they want to do. They hey, don't even know. We got a caller on uh, Four Corners News. Caller, talk to me. Hey, Shalom, Shalom, brother Elisha. Hey, Shalom, brother. Hey, shalom, shalom, bro. Talk to us. Hey, Most High Christ, bless leadership. Yeah, about the quarter. It's, so, it's crazy about that because every brother that we know that ever been locked up and you ask them about their court date, they always say, hey, man, they rescheduled it. They mm -hmm. rescheduled. That's how they keep that quota. Because yep. every time they have to release that person, they keep them in there. Damn. And we talked about this before about how uh, uh, Edomite would have the same charge and they would give him probation yeah. or house arrest, but they'll give the brother two, three, five years in yeah, prison. Yeah, yeah. So that's real. one way they keep that quota going. Yep, that's right. Mm -hmm. Hey, so that's basically, man, they are exchanging our bodies for yeah. money. Damn. One, one, let one of them out, then put another one in. There you let you, you let two out, put three in. So when those two get out, we'll, you have one still in, and we only got to fill it back with one more person. Right. Bring it out. Hey, Cap, hey, sometimes Man. those brothers will be sitting in there for two, three years. Yeah. Come to find out, oh, sh you know we got the wrong person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Right. 18 years. The brother, I seen, it was an episode yeah. on Netflix. Brother, in there for 18 years. What the hell is Half this? Half your life in prison, come to find out we got the wrong you know, person. Right. <laughs> We got, the we got the right color, but we, right, got, the right, right. we got the right color, so they didn't go wrong. They got the right, yeah. but they got the wrong person. Yeah, yeah, right color, yeah. wrong person. Yeah. That's all they yeah. care about. I mean, he could have did it. So. He could have hey, right. did it. And I, they all look the same, so hell, yeah. he'll do. He'll do for now. <laughs>
Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.